I grew up in Anaheim, California, born in Newport Beach. Um, so Disneyland was basically my backyard. But uh, the East Coast has been my home for quite a while now, and uh, there's a lot to appreciate. So um, about me, I never sang. I was always a jock, always played baseball, basketball, anything, uh, volleyball. And I got into singing at the end of high school. A friend convinced me to join choir, and I lied to everybody about why I was in choir, told them I got, uh, tried to transfer out of a tough English class to a different teacher, and then it backfired, and I got put in choir, and they wouldn't switch me out. But secretly, I liked it. And then I uh, switched my major in college once I uh, had seen a few operas and really uh, decided that I wanted to be a part of this. Um, so always, always the sports guy, and also played uh, heavy metal in a garage band in high school aspirations to do that but my very first voice teacher was like nope those guys are all tenors you don't realize it so there was basically no hope for me there finding my way into opera i would say um it wasn't one particular opera but my first opera was carmen at opera pacific back in the day and uh, i had no idea what opera was about and the, the choir director, we got these series tickets to go, and the choir director said, does anybody know what opera is about? And I said, no. And he said, well, it's sort of like a soap opera. It's about sex, murder, betrayal, more sex, more murder, and more betrayal. And I was like, okay, I'm in. So I went and saw Carmen, and of course, with all those tunes and just the great drama of that piece, um, I really liked it and always wanted to go and uh, didn't understand why there could only be three or four operas in a season there. Why <laughs> you had to, you, you, I, I would rather go one night every two weeks for an entire season if I could. Um, but there are also other inspirations coming from a sports background. Um, I was never really into the whole singing world, and when I, when I heard uh, Samuel Ramey sing uh, various pieces, I had a CD of his uh, that one of my voice teachers gave to me, I, I just locked right into that sound and said, that's a masculine sound, that's what I want to go for. And then you find other people like Cesare Siepi, uh, Nikolai Gyarov and how how you can glean different things from what they do. Everyone's such a d different singer, and uh, so it was. It's just nice to look up to um, people that I thought were like me.